Check it out. There it goes. Look at that. Listen. That's like 10 miles away. Or six miles away. Wow. That was pretty awesome. And some friends had told me, you know, when you watch a launch, it's going to be different than anything you've ever seen. And it really was. I mean, it was just the sound, the pulsing, and it's just a different type of engine and a lot larger engine I've ever seen. The light was so bright. I mean, that just, that was amazing. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? All three engines up and burning. Two, one. Zero and lift off the final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. I saw the shuttles launch when I was a little boy down by Vero. It was so far away, but I was amazed at how bright the flash and the light was in the daylight sky. I've never seen anything so bright in the blue daylight sky. I didn't realize I could come see a launch. I thought it was more like secretive, and I thought that only a few people could see it, but now that I know it's open to everyone, it's the best thing ever. It's so fun to see a launch when it's your first time to do it. It's your once in a lifetime opportunity to do it. I think that people think this is a pretty boring place since the shuttle stopped but um, Kennedy Space Center is constantly renovating. I think they took some cues from Disney to make great rides and simulators. It's a lot of fun. You can spend a whole day here and not finish it. And this is also the most exciting place on Earth because this is where we're gonna go to Mars, from this location. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard.